gypsies welcome back to my channel so I'm here with a Dollar Tree haul and I had sort of a mini tragedy happen <laughs> not really tragedy um, I had a whole Dollar Tree haul that I did the last time I went to Dollar Tree I sat in the Walmart parking lot and did two hauls so I could post one yesterday and yeah I accidentally erased it so I tried every way to get it back I couldn't get it back so I'm like there's nothing I can do, so I'm just going to have to do it again. So I went to Dollar Tree today, and I have a bunch of more stuff here. So I'm just going to sit here and do a large Dollar Tree haul. So let's go ahead and get into it. It was a gorgeous day. Actually, me and Jack went, and she has a couple little things in here for her dolls. So I'll show you guys those when I get to them. Anyway, look at these bad boys. Aren't they fabulous? Like, I just... I just loving these. I'm loving these. Okay. And enough about the earrings. Let's get started here. Now, I could not remember 100% exactly which bags that I had done that day. So, if I've done these already, I'm sorry. First off, I can't remember. I mean, I mean, you see these in every single video. I have a bag here with two pineapple, one watermelon. I think I may have done that the other day. And also, I had two packs of these razors for my hubby. So, yeah, if I've, if I've done that bag, I'm sorry. The rest of the bags are brand new. I just couldn't remember. I just didn't want to take the chance, you know? So, let me go ahead. Okay, this is from today. Um, wish list. I finally found one of these little guys. So, I was super excited. This is the only one I have ever seen. And they actually had several of these. None of the other ones. Just these. And I just think that they are so cute for Easter. Like, I'm going to go ahead and put it out. Just because Easter is so close. Um, it just says hand soap. I don't see. What kind is it? Like, I'm curious. Let me smell. I need... Let me grab my glasses. I'm definitely going to need these. <laughs> And grab them out here. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. Happy Monday, by the way. Happy Monday. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Hand soap. Okay. Does it say? Are they scented? Does it say anything? I was thinking maybe. Okay, that does open. Okay, I guess it just doesn't say. Not that I can see anywhere. Okay, we're going to smell it, though. We're going to smell it. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, it smells really good. I like it. I like it. If you haven't noticed, my husband took his craziness blue background down, so it looks rather normal in here now. <laughs> rather, rather normal. More back to where it's supposed to be. Okay, so... I know that you guys have seen these probably a million times. This one, though, I do not remember seeing this bee. Like, I remember seeing the gnome and the turtle and maybe the frog and some other one. I actually have one out there. But I do not remember seeing this bee. And I just feel like it, this looks so summery. Just look how cute it is. So, I'm like, okay, you're coming with me. Get in my buggy. Let's go. He's just adorbs. So, I had to grab him had to grab him and then yeah these are all totally out of order and you should be used to that with me already so these are just fairy lights yeah they call them copper wire led lights but basically fairy lights um these are the kinds that if you get those like mason jars and stuff it's really cute to put these in there and one thing i like about them is the battery holder is clear so if you are putting them down in a jar and the, the lights are all around you really cannot see that holder like when the lights are on you really can't see the holder so especially if you have a textured jar you know with like any kind of texture on it whatsoever so i went ahead and grabbed those because i love jars with lights in them so yeah okay and then they had some really cute new notebooks i did get one of each i don't think that they are um they look like they should be sticky notes but i don't think they are they're just notepads so i hate because they like they should have put them in here the other way Okay, so it's not sticky notes. It's just notepads. So you have this one right here. They should have put them this way, maybe, so you can see the whole picture. I don't know, but there's that little, is that a pug with some glasses on? This is probably my favorite. It's a cat with some pearls on. A green-eyed cat 
wearing some pearls. Like, what could be better than a cat in pearls? I mean, like, I never, that never even entered my mind until today, you know? Um, except maybe a cat with some shades and a unicorn hat. Or a unicorn horn. Like, rainbow shades and a unicorn horn? Come on! That's so cute! And then this one right here. This is small. Like, you're not going to be able to write a whole lot on here. But that little dog reminds me of Benji. Do you guys remember Benji? Like, I remember watching, like, I don't know if it was just, like, Dis it, it was a Disney that made the Benji movies. Like, the special hour or two-hour specials. I loved those. So, there's those. Okay. And then, they had this back at the toy section. And I'm like, this does not look like any Greenbrier product I saw. So, I got to looking on it. And if you pretty much see anything where you can tag people in Instagram, or Facebook, or um, YouTube, actually, um, it's not, it's not going to be Greenbrier. So, this says, it says, Guava Toys, Slime Time, age six and over, Playtime is Epic, Splat Time. Splat Slime, two pack of green, compatible with Slime Splat Blaster. I don't want anything called a Slime Slap Blaster in my house. Okay, say that three times fast. Slime Splat Blaster, three times fast right now. Did you do it? I didn't think so. Nope, nope. That's the tongue teaser. <laughs> anyway, it's a two pack and Jack said this guy's on YouTube. So she was with me and she saw that and I'm like, oh, okay. So, you know, the kids know the kid ones. So yeah. So Guava Toys. I don't know who he is. Guava Juice. Guava. His name's Guava Juice. Splat Slime Packs. They ooze fun. Okay. So I got one. I just got one. And then I just got one of these because... Oh, I need to scan my receipt. I thought I already scanned it, but apparently I didn't. Okay, so this is, this is a Nerf disc launcher. So, it has like, it's a disc launcher with two mystery discs. So, I thought that was just cute. I don't know. I, I guess it's like a blind bag, sort of. Here's what the back looks like. I guess that's the different array of discs that you can get. So I don't know if it's something like you you launch like across the kitchen table or the floor or something like that. I just thought that might be a cute Easter basket, Easter basket filler. Okay, there's that bag. All right, let me do a bag. I know I did the other day, so I'm gonna redo it. It, it seems so weird redoing a bag. Like I'm like I've already said that. You know, crazy. Anyway, I got this 30 count of paper plate or no, these are foam plates. 30 counts. My hubby is all into peanut butter and jelly sandwiches right now. So I've just been using the foam plates for him. And here is something I'm really excited about. First off, look at this. Like, I found one pack of these. This is going to match Fifi's kitchen. And she uses these. So this is going to match her kitchen so good. I could only find one. And then when I went today, I looked at the other Dollar Tree. I couldn't find any more. I know these things probably flew off the shelves. Um, it says, Grow Where You Are Planted. It has the wonderful teal truck. It is just so, so pretty. And you get a big one and a little one in here. So I am desperately searching for another pack of these aren't they cute oh my gosh yes yes and then i caved and bought a couple more coloring books okay yes like i have issues um but these are new and i'm like they're new so you know first off i got this one here and these are good size they're not as big as those giant ones they have but they're not like regular coloring book size either it says my super big coloring and activity mat so, this one is in the cute kitten. This one is in cute kittens. So, basically, there's cute kittens in here. Just, like, all kinds of really cute kittens. So, well, that's a puppy and a kitten. So, anyway, I just like the simplicity of these. You know, sometimes you'd want a simplicity, a simplistic one to color. So, grab that. And then this one is unicorns and butterflies. What could be better than unicorns and butterflies? Like, I love them. 
So let me show you a couple of these. This one right here says Be Magical. I mean, I'm colorless. This one's mine to color because it has a moon and it says Be Magical and it has a unicorn and a butterfly. So like, boom baby, I wanna color that one. So anyway, there's those. And then I grabbed a couple of Easter cards and I just thought they were beautiful. These were the two for a dollar ones. I only picked three out. This one is um, glittery. It says warm thoughts to you. Is it to you? Warm thoughts of you at Easter. And I just loved, look at the glitter. You see the glitter up there? I just love the teapot and the teacups. And you got a little cupcake snack there. So I grabbed that one. And then I got this one here. I just thought it was really, really pretty too. Friends, friend, you are a blessing. So I just thought that was a really pretty. And then this one's my favorite, I think. It just says from both of us. And as far as the pictures go, that is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I don't know. I just think that is a beautiful picture. Beautiful picture. Yes, I loved it. Okay. Next, I got my hubby a couple little snacks here. They should be in here together, but are they? <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't be. Okay, I guess not. All right, they're not. They're not. So, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and show you these. Um, but he likes these whenever I get them. It's just the Planters Honey Roasted Peanuts. So, he is a snacker at nighttime. Like, probably the biggest snacker I know. So, I think that he'll like those Honey Roasted Peanuts. And then... This is a wish list item, and I did get two of these, and I'm going to give one to my hubby in his Easter bag. I'm thinking, like, should I even do Easter bags, like, for the guys? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I got two of them. I was thinking one for my hubby, and then one for my youngest son, Josh. What it is, it's a magnetic work light. So, I thought this has been on my wish list since probably around... Has it been since Christmas? Like, because I was wanting, or maybe Valentine's Day-ish, because I was wanting to get it to put it in their bags for one other occasion. I can't remember. But, yeah, they're magnetic work lights. So, I did grab two of those. And then, um, along the lines of the coloring books, I grabbed these. It's just Crayola. It says Uni Crayons, but w whenever I did look at them in the first video there's really nothing special about them i think it's just the cuteness of the box so that kind of bummed me out because i'm like i paid a dollar for eight of these when i could have paid a dollar for 24 of them you know and i just really paid for this cute box because these colors are no like they're it's carnation pink it's just i mean it's just colors that would be in you know a regular box so i was kind of bummed about that kind of got taken it is cute but you know but you know and then of course i like to stay stocked up on these because you guys all know these things disappear so bad for me so i love the hot pink one and then they have a coral looking one just so so pretty and i grabbed two Grab two, and then I always look in this section whenever I'm doing the uh, suckers and stuff. So I thought these would be really cute at Easter baskets. So we have a Tommy Pickles, and then we have a Chucky, and look how cute they are. The last ones of these I bought, I think, were like Harley Quinn and the Joker. But I always look. I did see Angelica last time I was there, <clears throat> and I wish I would have got her. Because that would have been a cute little set. But anyway, I absolutely love these. They're so cute. <coughs> Let me get a little sip here. I got a dry throat. I'm drinking on my water. I have so many different water cups and glasses that I want to use that I'm always switching up from, you know, every so often. Okay. I think I hauled this in the first one. I, it didn't get put back in the bag. It's this white acrylic paint for some of the painting I'm wanting to do. So I think I hauled that. Just in case. I just showed you, showed you quickly. Just quickly. Okay, so they had some cute little jars. And they was different shaped. 
So I got one of each and they're very tiny. As you can see, like they fit like in the palm of my hand. They're just really tiny and cute. And I checked them out like in the store and these lids fit really snug. So I, I like that, you know, the lids are not going to be popping off or whatever. And I just think these are really, really cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in them. If you guys have ideas, drop them down below. You know, I love you guys' ideas for stuff. So yeah. And they're thick jars. They're nice and thick and they didn't have any other shapes. I'm not sure if I said that or not, but yeah, they are. This one like has some like a pattern going around it. I thought they were so cute. And then last but not least in this bag, I thought was interesting. I don't, I don't know. It's a fake security camera. Yeah, I only got one because I'm like, I don't know if my hubby would want one or not. Um, but I just thought this was really cool. It might be kind of cool to have, to tell you the truth. Um, so I guess it's just a, it's a realistic appearance no wiring necessary, easy installation, and the contents, you get one fake camera, two wall screws, and it tells the dimensions, and it takes two AA batteries. So, I mean, that in today's day and age, you know, people, if they're going to go breaking in your house, they don't know it's a fake camera. You know, they do not know. They might think it's one of those real ones or like, let's bypass this house. You know, just, it might be a good thing to put on, like on mount up on the um, uh, porch, you know? So, yeah. So they had, they was just putting these out. They had a lot of them. So I think like in the house, like everybody that lives in your house knows, you know, they know you don't have a camera, but like someone trying to break in wouldn't. So that's why I was thinking the porch. So anyway, I thought that was cool. I'd never seen that before. Okay, guys, this one's from today. And this is to some, um, okay, so they had this new coloring book. I had not seen this one before. Um, I did get two because I have a big collection of coloring books I'm going to do a giveaway on. Um, I really would like to do a giveaway whenever I hit, um, speaking of giveaways, if you guys have won a giveaway with me, your packages will be mailed out tomorrow. So don't give up hope, but they're on the way. They're on the way. But anyway, um, these are just called animals, and I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway. I have a big stack right over there, and because I usually buy two of every one of the ones that I like, and I just thought these were pretty, like whenever I got to looking through these in the store, I'm like, these are really, really cute. Like, see, that's kind of simplistic, and then, you know, like there's some really cute pictures. I saw a really cute picture of a, oh, this right here got me. Like, that's a little fairy house. I mean, like, that's adorbs. I totally want to color that. Like, with some... Oh. This is cute, too. Like, there's a lot of really cute pictures in here, so... <gasps> I'm excited! Put them all with the coloring stuff. Like, I did have a bag of coloring stuff that me and Jack were coloring in every night. I set it in the living room, and now we can't find it. Like, how can a big bag of coloring stuff disappear? Uh, no, and it was in a cloth bag. I was like, maybe it got taken out with the trash. I don't know. It was in a cloth bag, so it wasn't, it couldn't be mistaken for trash. So, anyway. My white Bride of Frankenstein look. I'm about to break down. I'm about to break down and color my hair, regardless. Yeah. Okay, so I thought these were new. Either that or they looked new. But for one thing, okay, it, it totally tricked me. Greenbrier tricked me. Okay. Let me show you these. Now, do you see these? They do not look like the typical ones that Greenbrier had. And I'm going to tell you why. Do you see this right here? It says, hold on. Hold on. Let me get my glasses because I'm going to tell you how it tricked me. I'm like, this is a name brand. This is a name brand. Um, there's a phone app. Glow in the phone. It shows a phone. It tells you how to connect. 
Google Play and all that. And I'm like, there's no way this is a Greenbrier item. And I was so sure. I didn't even look right here, but now that I'm looking, it's a Greenbrier item. So anyway, even if it is a Greenbrier item, it looks cool. Glow in the phone and there's an app. Like, I don't know. I think it's cool. So, all right. I'm, I'm just a little bit bummed, but not too bad. So you can actually scan that little QR code and then I guess it takes you to the app store if you want to do that. You can download the app and then just uninstall it whenever you're done, right? If, if you don't have much room. But I got those three. I thought they were really cute. That one right there is living his best life. So cute. Anyway, you get two of these in every one. And they are bracelets, just in case I didn't say. Well, it says glow. Oh, no, they're not bracelets. They're glow wands. Oh, they, okay. I thought I was losing my mind. This one's bracelets. This one's two glow wands. And this one is bracelets as well. Okay. <sighs> losing it. Okay. Let me fix these so I don't, don't lose them. Okay. So, I got two more Hot Wheel cars. Can you believe it? Like, two more. Because these are bad. These are bad to the bone Hot Wheel cars, okay? This is, is a, this one is a 989, I think it said, Dodge Charger. Like, I'm sure you don't care what year it is. Like, but, 69. <laughs> 69 Dodge Charger 500. Okay, and then this one is 68 Shelby GT500, and I love this one. It's my fave. So, why not? Like, these are really, really cute, and, like, they have, they both have, like, flames, and I just think they just look like some super bad-to-the-bone cars that would be a great addition to my wonderful Hot Wheel collection. Who would have ever thunk it? I don't know. <laughs> And then I got a couple of packs of pins just because I thought these might be cool. I've got like all of my glitter gel pins together. Like um, I got some around Christmas time and then someone had sent me um, a, a pack of a four pack of Wonder Woman ones. So I've got all those together like and those are the best things to color with. So I thought these may or may not be good to color with. These are the Pro Marks. And it's gel pens, and those are the colors, which I think are really pretty colors. They're not glitter, but, like, if you're coloring, like, you know, a picture, you may not want every single thing on that picture to be glitter. So, these may or may not be good for coloring. I'll let you guys know, um, you know, just because if they're good, you might want to get some. But if they're not, you might not want to. And then, also, I got these Pro Marks gel pens. I'm really not sure... It says water-based gel ink. I don't know why I pretend like I can read, like, without my glasses. Like, I'm always squinting. Oh, that's it. Yeah. So, these are, they, they're just, they just look different. So, I don't know. These look more fluorescent colored. So, there they are. I got one of each. So, I'm going to give them a whirl, girl. Give them a whirl, girl. I'm going to try it. Put it up there with coloring stuff. And then Jack wanted to pick out a new toothpaste. A, I mean, a new toothbrush. So she got this Firefly Smiley Gripper. So she picked out the green one. And it comes with this toothpaste, which is Bubble Mint. And she does not like Bubble Mint toothpaste whatsoever. So we'll probably just put this in, in, a, in a little bag. Because we got some stuff for Raylan, um, Josh's, my son's girlfriend's little girl um that you know because she's littler than jack so when jack grows out of her clothes and stuff we put stuff in a bag so we'll just put that in there too just because they probably like bubble mint and then let's see here oh okay so i grabbed two of these but i'm thinking that this is the same face shield that they've been that they've been selling but simply, oh, I thought that was like, but simply in a box instead of hanging in the plastic, which it looks more fancy in the box, right? It looks more fancy, so like it looks like it's more, you know, better than a dollar, I guess. But like once it all comes down to it, it's probably the same. So you basically, yeah, it's, well, you know what? I don't really know what the ones in the um, bag. I have never really opened them. 
So basically you get these that you put on your face and then somehow, I guess there's instructions on the box. It can't be hard. It can't be hard at all. It looks like, oh, okay, I see, I see. I see, so you, you just clip them somehow. Like, I don't want to take that much time to do it. Oh, you get two face shields. So that's kind of cool. You get two instead of one, basically. And then you get the little part that you wear on your face. That would be so irritating, I bet. Like, I can just imagine how irritating wearing one of those would be. I don't know, like, as glasses. But we don't know what the future holds, so it's best to have stuff like this, you know, in case we need it. Right now, I think masks are the key to everything. So, anyway, I did get two of those to put back. Put them back. Okay. Now, um, I found... I need to find one more of these guys. This is just like the sandwich containers, although they can be used for snacks or, you know, anything like that. But as you guys know, if you know, I collect like the Dollar Tree LOL stuff. I keep it all until the end of the year and then I do a big LOL surprise bag for the three girls. So I've been collecting stuff all year. I'll still continue to collect until December. I've got a lot of the bags and stuff. So this just, sa this just says BFFs forever. And it's really cute. They're both just alike. So I'm on the hunt for one more. One more of these. It seems like a lot of times they only have two of something. So I'm on the hunt grab this for my son. This is one of his favorite gums. Just the fruit stripes. You get four packs in here. He loves this. I'll have to lay that out because he'll be wanting it. And then this is a new item, guys. I had never seen this. It is Kool-Aid cotton candy. So it's in the in the flavor Tropical Punch and it's in the it was in the Easter section. As you can see, there's some little Easter bunny rabbits on it. These were the this was the only flavor they had. I thought there might be three flavors just because it's showing a pink, a purple, and a blue. So I don't know if like there's th those three colors are all in here or if there's three different kinds. So if you guys know, let me know. On the back, it doesn't like show any other kinds. It just, it just says tropical fruit. So they may just be three different kinds in here. I'll let Jack try it out later so we can see. And then she asked for these. She loves these purulines, and she's got a snack bag down through here that she uh, puts, keeps all of her stuff in. And then at nighttime when she's watching TV or playing on her tablet, she can snack on those. And then I just grabbed two bags of these because these are basically the only mashed potatoes I use like when I make mashed potatoes, I do use the um, loaded mashed potatoes from Walmart whenever I do my loaded potato soup. And but this right here is the is the ones I get just for making mashed potatoes. This is not even them. Like I got the wrong ones, I think. Hold on one sec. Okay, guys. Alrighty then. So I told you guys I was going to have a lot of things in here. So I just got done telling you that Jack does, doesn't like the bubble mint. So I said, let's see if we can find something that's not bubble mint. Like she can use ours. That's not a big deal. But this is Kids Crest and it says Sparkle Fun. So I'm going to smell this right now and see if it smells like bubble mint. And we're just going to find out. Because, you know, you can't open them in the store and smell them. So... Smells really good, but to me it does smell like bubble mint. <laughs> Look at that. So, yeah. Oof. Well, try to get it back down in there. I guess that's good enough. <laughs> yeah, so I'll let her try that out later and see if it's bubble mint or not. It might not be. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, so she was with me, so we just uh, always let her grab stuff to drink. So she just picked out these juice boxes. This is the orange juice one. Oranges. And then this one is the fruit punch. And then apple. Apple. So we'll just put those in the door of the fridge. And then anytime she's thirsty, she can just go grab her one. And then this is a bag that I went through the other day. So 
I hope I didn't already show you guys this. So this is a rock art paint set. And I thought it was really cute. And I actually opened it up the other day just because I wanted to see what the rock looked like in here. So I'm just going to take for granted that I did not already show you guys this. So I just thought it was really cute. You know, because Fifi, she's been wanting to get back into rock painting. I just thought this would be something cute that for Jack to do. So it's just the rock is really cute. Although there is a chip in the rock right there. If you can see that. But the front of it is perfectly smooth and everything so and you get these three colors of paint and a paintbrush also you get a little pack of stickers in there um but i like the way that they had the rock painted on the front there i just think it's really cute so i just thought that'd be cute you know just to take down to fifi's for whatever if we do paint any rocks you know on a video then we can do that and then also speaking of fifi she has been mentioning that she wanted to do tie-dyed shirts so i'm like well dollar tree sells the tie-dyed stuff and she's like oh well, we need to do that so i'm like okay next time i see it i'll buy it because i to tell you the truth i haven't seen it that much like i've seen a lot of other people haul it and even do the shirts but i haven't really saw the tie-dyed stuff until today <laughs> or actually this was the other day but i've got all the colors that i saw which was pink green blue red and yellow so i don't know if there's any more colors or not but i feel like that'd be plenty and it comes with i know rubber bands and I, that's probably um rubber gloves hopefully so because you're definitely gonna need some rubber gloves tie-dye and stuff so we'll be getting into that and then speaking of tie-dye this ain't tie-dye but this is so pretty I just had to get it. I'm, gonna, I, I'm just going to try it on, you know, just for the heck of it. I just absolutely love, this, this is the, ow, this is the only pair of these that they had. And I just thought they were really, really cute. Are they cute or what? Like, they're really, really cute. So, I had to get them. I had to grab them. So, like, here's what the backs look like. I'll have to clip that little tag off. But they're just really cute. And then the front of the ears, like that glittery in there, I just think they're so pretty and colorful. I just, I just love colorful, you know? And then I grabbed these, not for a party or anything, but just because I thought Jack might like to eat off of plates that, that were this gorgeous. And to tell you the truth, I want to eat off of plates that are this gorgeous. Like, what's, where's the harm in that, right? Live life to the fullest. Eat off the cute plates. I love them. Aren't they adorbs? My gosh, they're so pretty. Like, they were in the birthday section, so. Oh, here's the other snack that I got my hubs. It is basically cashews, roasted and salted. It's a four-ounce bag for a buck. This is a magnificent deal for cashews, and he ate the last ones I got him. He said that they are very good. He loves them. He told me if I saw any more, get some. So, I just got one bag, so putting them right down there in his little snack bin because he's a snacker and then I grabbed one of these because nothing takes are we recording okay nothing takes me back in time like some good old Noxzema because the smell of it is just 16 again immediately until I open my eyes 16 again. I absolutely love it. Like, do you remember the CoverGirl um, makeup used to smell like it? And it was just magnificent. Like, those years, you know. So, every time, I like to keep these in the shower to wash my face with. So, it seems like every time I start to run out, I always find another one at the Dollar Tree. So, that's a good thing, right? And then, I just got these, this little three-pack. Just because I want to try my hand at those little mini sunset pictures I've been talking about. And I thought, why not try a mini one first just to see if it actually does right. So, this is just the Crafter Square little, um, what are they called? What are they called? You know. I don't know. I, I don't know. But I don't want to throw my glasses on again for that. Okay. So, here's something cute, though. This is a fairy garden container, which they're just calling it a high something or other dome. So, there's a little picture of maybe the little fairy garden you can make. That's why I got those fairy lights. I knew there was a reason. So, I just love how they have the moss up in there. I got some Spanish moss and 
like fairy lights. So really all you need is some cute little fairies or something up in there. I think that would look really, really cute. So I just got one because I don't know. I just didn't feel like it would really be an art project. I don't know. Okay, last bag. And I got found some cute totes. They had four, but I only got three of these. Um they're just like the little burlap, basically. They feel just like a burlap sack would feel. This one says, your attitude determines your direction. And it's in that beautiful, brilliant blue. I love it. And that is so true. Your attitude does determine your direction, you know? Just have a good attitude. Just have a good attitude. I love this one. Salty but sweet. Now, that could refer to peanuts. Or humans, you know? I mean, I've been salty about a few things in my life. I really have. I've been very salty. <laughs> but remain sweet. You can be salty and sweet at the same time, right? Salty, but remain sweet. And then this one. I love this one. It just says, kindness matters. And this would be a really good one. Like, if you wanted to fill it up, like, for homeless people or something like that, that would be a great little bag to use. And, like, these, you know... They, they're like this on the bottom, so they're going to hold, you know, several, several different items. So, kindness matters. I like that one. I think it's my fave. And then this is some of the things that Jack decided to get for her baby doll. So, she picked out these little washcloths, and this one just has cute little... Is it swans? Yeah, little swans with crowns. And it's a four-pack, so you got the swans with crowns. And then the second one is just like, it looks like little pink hearts on a white background. And then the third one is just solid pink. And then the fourth one is just solid white. So, yeah, it's a little four pack of baby washcloths. And then something tells me she's going to be wanting to give her baby a bath. Yeah. And then she picked out this cute little pack of socks. Look at these. I absolutely love it. Moon and a star. And they are just so, so cute. That's that's the cutest little pack of socks I think I've ever seen from there. So there's those. And then I got these, just my normal handles, vanilla scented. These are just my faves. They're just, I mean, sometimes I buy the big black ones, but for whenever I use those, like I have to take them out of my bag and sit them on the floor and like fill them up, out, fill them up throughout the rest of the day, you know, but by the time that those get filled up, I can just take them out, tie them off, and they're done. You know, the other ones, I feel the need to fill them up until they're full. So, yeah. And then I just grabbed one pack of these because I'm getting ready to put up my Easter shelf, and I know I have at least three packs of Easter lights, and they take the AA batteries, so this will this will power two of those packs of lights. So I'm excited to see how my little shelf is going to look. I'll show you guys whenever I get it all up and running. So I think that is it, guys. So that was a pretty big Dollar Tree haul. Large, extra large Dollar Tree haul. So I'm completely out of Dollar Tree stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, if uh, you are not subscribed to my channel, guys, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I know I asked a couple of questions. So, yeah. I'm always wondering stuff. So, anyway... Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your Monday. Make it a good one, guys. Bye.